All right, look, look, okay? This is why I oppose guys like Let's Be Frank and these worthless Republican water-carrying motherfuckers out here. Legitimately, this is fucking why, all right? Because I don't like fucking politics. I can't stand the dog shit. You should stand with your fucking morals. It's that simple, all right? Check this shit out. Here's an article from CNBC. Senate Mon Mon uh, Minority Leader Mitch McConnell said he sees Republican opposition to President Joe Biden's infrastructure plan and vowed to fight the broader Democratic agenda. The comment all but ensures Democrats would have to pass a more than $2 trillion infrastructure proposal on their own unless, unless they make major changes to win Republican support. The proposal outlined Wednesday invest in roads, bridges, airports, electric vehicles, broadband, and water systems and raises the corporate tax to 28% to offset the, sp fund, the spending. Let's look at this right here. Let's look at this right here. This, this is the most important part of this goddamn shit, all right? Now, airports, I don't care about, all right, electric vehicles, I don't really give a shit about, but I'll be honest, GM and fucking Ford are making electric vehicles, Tesla's making Amer electric vehicles, they're American companies, and as long as we stick with the Biden Buy American plan, right, legitimately, right, and we're not supporting fucking Toyota, and we're not supporting Nissan, and we're not supporting fucking Honda, we're supporting American companies making electric fucking vehicles, I have absolutely no problem with this mentality. All right, because that money goes in to American jobs. We build up individuals like Lordstown and Nicola, right? And even though I know Nicola's, <laughs> it's a den of garbage, right? Legitimately, it's looking like more and more it fucking comes out. It looks, looks like a goddamn Ponzi scheme. But legitimately, as long as we are supporting these individuals, no, no problem with this. How about water systems? Holy shit, maybe we should update the American water system. I mean, like, oh, my, our water system in my fucking city where I live at legitimately is so bad that the goddamn terracotta pipes, I'm going to say it again, terracotta pipes fell apart and are washing out hills to the point where parking lots are falling on top of fucking buildings. Maybe we should rebuild the infrastructure a little bit. Maybe it would help just a little. Just a fucking little, I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? Take some of this weight off of the fucking local economies and shit, right? As a whole. And you want to raise the corporate tax rate to 28% to pay for it. Which, again, most of us pay 30 fucking percent. And if they want to stand here, legit, if you want to fucking have yo say in our political system, if you want to sit here and have Citizens United where you can sit here and speak as a person, in fucking the elections and literally have freedom of speech as a corporate entity. And if you want to stand here and help, what what they say, what they call it? Um, what was it? Rectify elections? Something like that. Fortify. If you want to help fortify the fucking elections away from the will of the American people, Maybe, just maybe, you should pay your fucking share. Legitimately. Why is this? Why is this? Any hopes that Washington could scrape together a bipartisan, a bipartisan infrastructure package took a hit Thursday. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, Republican Kentucky, told reporters the more than $2 trillion plan the White House unveiled Wednesday is not going to get support from our side. The proposal would invest in roads, bridges, airports, broadband, water system, electric vehicles, and job training programs and raise the corporate tax rate to 28% to offset the spending. The, also, the Republicans also vowed to oppose the broader Democratic agenda under Joe Biden, who passed his first major initiative last month in the $1.9 trillion coronavirus release package. Mm. He said, I'm going to fight them every step of the way because I think this is the wrong prescription for America. You mean the same prescription that Trump had? The same prescription that Ralph Nader had? The same prescription that Ross Perot had? Right, the same prescription that every individual who has given a shit about this fucking country has had forever. Legitimately. Americans love this shit. We need this shit. Do you know how huge this fucking country is and how dilapidated our fucking infrastructure is? 
Like, legit. Like, yo, the fucking, yo, the, the world's engineers come here and they go, the fuck is America doing? Everything we have is falling down. And you're, you're going to stand here and say this is the wrong prescription for America? You worthless piece of shit. Jesus Christ. Unless 10 Republicans break with McConnell or Biden, revises the plan to win GOP votes. Like, here's the thing, right? Legit. You cannot oppose Biden by just randomly opposing him. This is the same as Trump derangement syndrome bullshit, all right? You don't just oppose Biden and the Democrats just to oppose them. I mean, like, oh, look, yes, would I make a deal? Oh, absolutely. I'm like, how about this? And I do it publicly. Like, yo, you let us keep our guns, all right? And you let us keep our freedom of speech and we take on big tech and make sure there's actual freedom of expression on the fucking internet, right? And we will give you your fucking infrastructure plan all day because honestly, I want to give it to you anyway, you know what I mean? But I'd like to keep my guns. And they probably be like, yeah, all right, we can do that. And that would be the end of the conversation. Legit. That's all you have to do. Why is this such a hard fucking deal for these motherfuckers? Unless 10 Republicans break with McConnell or Biden revises the plan to win GOP votes. His comment all but assures Democrats would have to use budget reconciliation to pass the infrastructure bill on their own. Biden has said he wants to win GOP support for the plan, but Republicans have opposed any tax increases, saying that could hinder the U.S. economy recovery. I don't fucking care. Because you're not giving us tax relief. That's my mentality. Right? You're not taking shit off all back. <sighs> Legitimately. That's what you should do. You should eliminate taxes for, you know what I mean, basic shit. And I'm going to do a whole stream coming up here soon just on... How do I put this? I'm going to do a whole stream on just how property taxes stand here and are causing the vast majority of harm in our fucking system as a whole. Right? I'm going to do a whole shit on this. I'm, I'm going to break this down because it's legitimately like I've, I've figured it out. It's like a fucking, it's like a bunch of strings tied into a knot in the goddamn middle. Right? And then that knot in the middle is a goddamn fucking property taxes. And like legit. The American mortgage. We're going to have to figure something out about that. All right. So anyway, right. Okay. Fucking re respond to McConnell on Thursday. White House Press Secretary Jen Paskey questioned whether Republican Senate leader agrees that the United States needs to update its infrastructure. Like, yo, legit. They can beat you over the head with this one. This is the fucking problem, right? If you don't want to ro ro uh, raise the corporate tax rate still lower still lower than it's been over the past 70 years and across decades. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to put in place a global minimum tax. What are the alternatives? We're happy to hear these proposals, she said. Even if they use reconciliations, Democrats will have to balance competing interests among themselves to approve a bill. Some progressive lawmakers have called to include more ambitious measures to fight climate change in the plan. Meanwhile, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and our lawmakers from New York, New Jersey have published pushed to include a repeal on the cap on state and local tax deductions in the plan. The change is expected to benefit higher income taxpayers. You're legit. Everybody's going to win off this bitch. At the end of the day. Right? Legit. So I don't understand why it is that you would even oppose this on merit. The fuck is wrong with y'all motherfuckers? I understand they're going to go, oh, we're going to go green and da 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 Believe me, all these sustainable measures are a positive thing for the American society. All right? Yo, look, the most genius motherfuckers on the planet right now, all right, are individuals who are fucking putting solar on their houses. These individuals are so far ahead of the goddamn curve, people have no idea, all right? Because if you want to maintain your libertarian mentality, your libertarian society that we have right now, which is this is what this is, and people don't know it. Like everybody or everywhere else in the world, they go, the U.S. economic system is libertarian, Right? If you want to maintain that individualistic ideology, if you want to maintain those fucking morals, you're going to have to maintain the ability to be an individual. And that means supplying your own shit. When the rest of this shit breaks the fuck down. Even if they use, you know, right, yeah, fucking, man, listen. Biden and his advisors got initial Republican input on the COVID belief package, then moved to pass it on their own when they realized the GP, GOP, GOP would only accept a much smaller bill than they saw it. They appear to be taking a similar approach. Like, yo, fuck it, dude. And here's the other part of this as well. Like, yo, legit, if you're down for the boog, if you want the boog to happen at all, 
You know what I mean? If they're like, fuck it, it's coming. Like, let's get it done. Fuck it. Let's spend this money. Let's destroy the fucking currency. You know what I mean? All this money is going to end up in American fucking taxpayers' hands. It's going to end up in fucking people's hands being spent on fucking garbage. Believe me. It's going to drive inflation that's just going to fucking tear a hole in this whole fucking country and tear the whole bitch the fuck down. Let's get to it. You know what I'm saying? Legitimately. Let's get to it now. While y'all motherfuckers is still young enough to fucking fight. Well, you still got some lead in your pencil. Fucking get it done. Anyway, yo, look. That's kind of the whole fucking point, right? Yo, look. <sighs> yo, I'm Tom P. of Pinoy News. Check me out on Odyssey. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Yo, I'll holla at y'all. Peace.